Hi everybody, welcome to Catherine Sews. Thanks so much for joining me today. A little while ago, I was given this big, beautiful sample book of all of these gorgeous sequin sample fabrics. And when I saw all the, the rainbow colors with the sequins, I immediately thought, what else is a girl gonna do but make a big banner for Pride Month? I wanted to make the banner for my classroom because it's important to me that the fashion room at school should be a very inclusive place. And I want my students all to feel not only welcome but celebrated and so the, i think this will just be a really fun project a really fun thing that i can put together for them so the first thing i did with those sample books is i chose one sample for each color of the rainbow and i cut them into as big a triangle as i could i think it's about 13 inches across and 13 inches down was the size of my triangles so I cut out my triangles and they just looked so pretty and it was two-sided fabric like it was two layers of the sequin fabric so it's the same both sides so that is kind of nice because I thought if I hang it in the doorway then it'll look good on both sides. Then I remembered I had just a scrap left of this rainbow striped satiny fabric um, left over from a costume project and so I cut a strip of that. I think that was about seven inches wide and I just made it as long as I could. I wanted the whole thing to end up being like spanning the doorway which was about 80 inches and a little extra would be fine. I pieced together three strips to make the rainbow satin topper. I wanted to use a fun technique that I call a stuffed sausage technique. It just is actually pretty easy but again it looks good from both sides inside and out look good and you do that whole tube in one step super easy. So to do that what I did was I rolled up all of those triangles and put a clip on them so that they wouldn't get caught into the seam at the top of that runner at all. So I rolled those all up and placed them in the rainbow pattern, enclosed them in that strip, pinned them all along the top and sewed that top, that whole strip. I had a little bit of trouble sewing that because I've never worked with that kind of sequin fabric and it's like those sequins were glued down obviously and so I didn't know that glue was accumulating on my needle so that was a bit of a headache so the thread broke and everything so I had to like backtrack repin a little bit and then sew that bit again and then glue got all bunched up on my needle again so I kind of ruined two needles but oh well so then with this stuffed sausage technique you just start pulling out your triangles and kind of wiggle your way along until the whole thing comes out nice it's it's really nice and fast and easy and it's such a fun and an interesting technique. You can use that technique for loads of different applications. I've used it in making costumes. Um, it's based on a pillowcase technique, which is great, Like, but you can use it for so many other things. So now that's all ready. It's laying on the front table in my classroom. And when I go in tomorrow morning, I'm gonna show the kids and get them to help me place it wherever they think is most appropriate. And we'll have a good time putting that up. Anything I can do to make my classroom and my channel warm and welcoming and inclusive and celebratory, I'm all over it. So that was tons of fun. It's a great addition to my classroom. So thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you had fun with that and happy Pride Month. If you liked today's video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It means a lot to me. Thanks so much. You take care.